It is 2 p.m. on Sunday afternoon, and there's a little part of me that thought, you know, I could just like stay in bed, do next to nothing, and wait until Game of Thrones happens tonight because I'm that excited about the start of Game of Thrones. It's a big deal to me. Anyway, that's not who I want to be. So instead, I'm going to go outside and see if there's anything that I can get done. I don't know. Deck, wiring, stable planning, cleaning. Who knows? But it beats just sitting still. There is a thing out here I can do to, uh, you know, keep myself moving and the project moving and stuff while I wait for the pool and Game of Thrones to start tonight. I want a deck here. I um, I think the deck should, I'll, I'll just reuse this right as a start. I think it'll start right here where this current one goes and extend to about where this window is. And then, I don't know, it just feels like there should be a deck in this spot uh, under the door and under the windows. And so, that takes work. Okay, so here's where we are. I put the good wood here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I can't stay here too long because it'll rain, but that's what I did. I cleaned up this area, as you can see. I took the better posts, the four by four, and I think there's a four by six in there, and put them there. They might find their way into the deck, so I'm just kind of hanging on to them for now. And then this is all junk wood. It's either rotted or it's too small to have any value to me. So this is going to be a burn pile. We may or may not burn that today. Uh, we'll see. Here's the next thing I'm gonna try in my process of just knocking off things I know to do. This thing here is a four by six that's stuck in the ground and it's exactly where I need a proper post there. So I'm gonna get this thing out of the way somehow. All right, tough, tough break about these shadows. But let's see, we got this in and it's pretty straight. I put a level on it, put some like concrete at the bottom. Some people do that because it'll harden and hold it better. That's not nailed in, but it could be. But mostly the next thing I would do is put a long board here, nail everything in, and then just keep going. Follow the pattern until we get out to about here. But I need more materials to get any of this stuff done and that means that it's a job for another day. However, <clears throat> there are some other little tasks in here that they kind of annoy me and it's like, hey, why not do it? This post is broken. It's broken and it's not the one that holds the load. The ones that really hold the load are these four by sixes here and there's a four by six here. This guy was always for holding like the doors and the joints and the stuff. So 
I think I'm just gonna take this and pull it out. Success. Okay, it has been on the to-do list to put that cabinet and that cabinet into duty for ages. And uh, the trouble was, you can't see it now because I've already done it, but I will show you. Do you see this gap against the wall? It leaned forward a little bit. So if we were to load it up with stuff, then it would have the risk of toppling down, which is no good. So I bought these shims. I put them underneath. They're not much to see, but I'll show you. This is what the shim looks like. And this is what they look like in place. You can't see it, but there's one right there. There's one right there, etc. Now we're ready to put some shelves in. <laughs> Let's see. So these shelves are held in with this thing. Want this is the interesting close? thing right here, Jackie. I'm asking you. No. All right. On the other cabinet, all four came out really quickly. And you're stopped. There we go, one. I am hot and sweaty. I know. And you dress for summer. I wonder if they appreciate your camera work now. We've got you on a steady cam. That's got to help. Uh huh. And my director told me what he wanted me to shoot, so that helps. What do you guys think? A little snarky today, this one? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. My director doesn't tell me what he wants me to shoot. Same spacing, maybe? Um, I don't know. For that one, because the doors aren't glass, I can do whatever I want. Okay. Um. I like their mounting system. I've never seen it before. Yeah, I haven't seen this either. I'm used to the like huge rows of brass things, mm -hmm. but this is better. I don't know, it's classy looking. So you think it's better to start at the bottom and work your way up? What I'm gonna do on the hard one is move things if they need to be moved. We'll see how this works. We're not going to have any problems. There you go. Your cabinets are in. <laughs> now she can clean her room all right so I'm in the master bedroom it's just about nine o'clock I'm ready for Game of Thrones I've been waiting for this for a long time now I, uh, I kind of wish I was in the living room and I had the big TV but I don't so you get what you get I will do this thing yes So, anyway, it's time. Oh, and I have snacks. Snacks, TV, I don't know, the room. Let's do this. 
I have finished watching Game of Thrones. I guess it was good. Uh, my initial reaction was that they didn't move the plotline forward enough. There are certain overarching narratives that are like really important in the show. And in my mind, it was almost like an hour long... You know, you know before the show, when they tell you what you missed last week or what you missed last season? To me, it was almost you know 50 minutes of that. It's like, oh, this big guy died over there? Well, let me bring you up to speed with everyone else finding out about it. Oh, this chick over here had this punishment? Well, let me bring you up to speed with now everybody else coming to... Uh, you know, like learning about that this thing happened. Oh, did this other person die? Let me tell you how the other people who learned how that happened. I feel like w with one or two exceptions, most of the major plot lines were just like, let me get you back up to where you should have been when you left off in season five. And we'll talk about the things that happened last year some more. I really like Silicon Valley too. I, I think I might check that out. And uh, also I have some video, video editing to do. Because it's Sunday as I say this, I've got to get a video up by Monday and, you know, we'll see. I don't quite know where my videos will come from. I could, if Monday's video is really short, I might combine two. I might just stay ahead a day in case I have like a slow weekday. I don't know how things are going to be. But uh, I've got some editing to do tonight. And I also really like the show Silicon Valley. So I could watch that. Funny thing about Silicon Valley and, and being in tech, I feel like, I've got an opinion on this. <sighs> Those people would be swimming in cash right now. They'd have a billion dollar valuation or higher. The writers of that show have to jump through so many hoops to like keep them struggling, to keep a plot moving along, because he'd have a $100 million yacht and be off the coast of France right now if this was real life. But uh, still, I enjoy the show. It's fun.